Okay, y'all draw safe. Hey, thanks Appreciate so much. It, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Twist is actually good, but it's this is fine too. Okay, I'll explain it in the truck. So yes, Ruben and I stole Joe's trailer. We we met up with Joe Thursday night. We took care of the white truck and the transmission at the Ford dealership in Springfield, Missouri, on Friday, and uh, found a load 200 miles north in Kansas, coming back to uh, back west. Now I was looking everywhere for power only loads because I really didn't want to steal Joe's trailer. However, I couldn't find any. I didn't find any for several days. And Joe was taking off, taking some time off during the holidays and Ruben and I really didn't need to. And we had a much longer trip to, to make from Missouri to Southern California. So we had the potential uh, to generate a lot more revenue if we would have taken Joe's trailer. So that's what we did. Uh, we did steal Joe's trailer and uh, let's continue on with this trip. Good morning, good morning everybody. Happy Saturday. The very best thing so far about this morning is we had a really good night's sleep. Comfort in, which usually isn't as nice as this one was, right, Ruben? Yeah, it, was <laughs> it was good. So, of course, you know, we picked up the empty trailer, no problems. We jetted 200 miles to pick up this load. You guys saw us load it. Okay, great. As soon as we load the load, I start getting, you know, we start getting a notification on the dashboard trailer wiring fault. You know, uh, what else was the other one, Ruben? Trailer, trailer wiring, disconnected. Tra trailer disconnected. Yeah, trailer disconnected. Okay, great. So we are here somewhere in Kansas. Where are we close to? Alathi or something? I think we're Shawnee. in Alathi. Shawnee? Yeah, we're in Shawnee, Kansas. I don't even know where we are. <laughs> <laughs> I know the state. <laughs> I'm good on that. I know the state. All right, so Ruben's taking off the uh, screws to the junction box and uh we're gonna take a look maybe it's a ground you know issue i don't know but it's freezing and uh we're gonna try and diagnose this crap so i can get on the road so we can get on the road Happy Monday. Oh my God, let me, uh, I'm just checking out of the hotel. I was gonna go to the uh, truck and get my coffee cup. I'm kind of like, you know, those evil gremlins when I wake up in the morning and then if you give me coffee, I turn into the nice one. So that's how I feel right now. So I'm like, ooh, I need to go get my coffee cup before I bite somebody's head off. Ah! <laughs> so anyway, just checking out of the hotel, okay? behind me there uh super eight whatever not the greatest but you know i saw that it had truck parking and so i booked the hotel online because it was sunday night and a lot of times hotels you know fill up in the evening or on the weekends so so i book it online right so i don't miss out on getting a room and then uh later as ruben and i progressed down the down the highway I look at the parking again right 
I look at the parking again and I zoomed out and I'm like, oh shit. It's literally a Super 8 within the same parking lot as two big truck stops. <laughs> so uh, it was not the easiest last night to get into the parking, but once we got a parking and got into the parking, then it was, you know, it was easy. So cons to getting a hotel at a truck stop is you got to deal with truck stop, you know, traffic, um, parking and all of that. But all the pros, I mean, hey, I can get my fuel this morning. I can get my coffee. You know, I can get the good morning. Welcome to Love's. <laughs> I can get all that this morning. So let's go get the coffee cup. Uh, let me flip this camera around actually you guys and show you really quick what I'm looking at It's gonna be a white Christmas up here in Reno We are we're in Sparks. We're in Sparks, Nevada, which is which is Reno that is Snow and ice on that tree See that wow And you can see it's it's coming down a little bit Wow all right, so before I freeze my butt off, let's go get the coffee cup and get on with this. I have a lot of updating to do for you, to tell you guys on this trip. Yeah, I, we, we had that electrical issue, right, with the, uh, with the, with the trailer. So we had the electrical issue and then, you know, Ruben and I were trying to work it out. We went to Home Depot, we did all these things. We couldn't find the short, uh, or the ground issue, whichever one it was. We couldn't find it. So um, I have all of this updating to do, but throughout this whole trip, since uh, since Nebraska or Kansas, wherever, since Kansas, I guess it must have been Kansas. Uh, I haven't like done any recording, so that was like 1,500 miles ago, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and update you. But first, coffee, and then I'll jump in the truck, and then I can update you when I'm not freezing my butt off. Okay, you guys. <sighs> So it's just been one thing after another, right? It's like, you know, the transmission on the white truck and and scrambling out here last minute to, you know, meet up with Joe and deal with that situation. And then as soon as I get the trailer, it's like trailer wiring fault, right? It's like, thanks. Now, you know, I'm trying to get home before Christmas and now I have to stop somewhere and find a short in an electrical wire somewhere. Some wire that's frayed or bent or broken. <laughs> oh lordy so two hours and two hundred and eighty dollars later at a uh, local trader shop uh, they found it it was for you guys and girls who run trailers like mine um, factory trailers come with wiring that is ran inside the axle tube okay as soon as you buy your new trailer take out that shit and rewire it outside of the tube because in addition to them running the wire inside the tube which I, I which I understand you would think that it would be safer right inside the tube the wire would be safer it would be protected right but actually it's not the case um, the wire kinks in there and then these manufacturers they put extra wire in there so it kind of folds up on itself it kinks it it frays you know and then it creates an electrical short so I've had that issue before and uh, oh it's a long story I'll probably do another video on that that would be a good video but anyways we got that done $280 later uh, put us put us pretty far behind to getting to Sparks Nevada because we left we left Kansas or Missouri wherever the hell we were we left uh, we left that area like Saturday at 1230 in the afternoon you know I wanted to leave Friday afternoon and we we left even even later on Saturday you know we 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 went to the trailer store we got the trailer repaired and then we went and picked up the car which we were gonna have to wait for the car anyways until 9 a.m. Saturday morning but um, we could have picked up the car without a trailer issue. We could have picked up the car and been on the road at 930, you know, so it put us back, you know, put us back some hours. So we drove uh, about five or so hundred miles on Saturday before we shut it down. And then yesterday, Sunday was the big push. Um, Ruben and I uh, teamed it and we drove a thousand miles yesterday, which was Sunday. So uh, was quite a lot. That's certainly 
the most miles I've ever done in one in one day. Um, of course, if you're a solo driver, you guys, you know, it's impossible to do a thousand miles in one shift if you are running legally with an ELD. So, uh, anyways, so uh, so that's that. That was our trip. Forty two hundred dollars out with a trailer that didn't even belong to me from California to Oklahoma and then forty two fifty back from Kansas to uh, Nevada all right so this is our load you guys forgive uh, forgive the forgive the noise we are at a truck stop so uh, I didn't update you guys you know we loaded this it's two uh, like snow plow buckets or you know plow buckets really neat one pick two drops each of these two pieces goes to a different customer a different receiver but both are in the same city of Sparks Nevada so very very nice loaded them in Kansas one pickup dropping them each each piece off at a different receiver this morning uh, three hundred excuse me three thousand dollar bill on those two pieces and then uh, we have a car it's a 2022 Chevy Equinox uh, and uh, that was a twelve hundred dollar bill originally and then I called the dealership to confirm that the vehicle was ready on Friday afternoon when I booked it. And uh, the dealership was like, oh, no, that's, you know, commercial or whatever. And, and the guy is not here on Friday. So you can come in tomorrow at 9 a.m., Saturday at 9 a.m. And I was kind of bummed out. So I called the broker. I was like, look, dude, if you want me to hang out, first of all, this was literally the only car going from where we were to where we wanted to go. And I didn't want to bop around over the weekend. Like I just wanted to straight shot, get over there and be done with it. So this is also going to Sparks, Nevada. And I told the broker, but I told the broker, I was like, look, dude, I'm going to have to spend the night here. Hotel, freaking da, 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 da. You're going to delay my trip. I, you know, four hours, whatever, whatever. Right. So he put an extra 50 bucks on it. So $1,250 bill, you guys, and a $3,000 bill. We will, we should be under, I don't know, like 1,700 miles, something like that. I got to check. So we're going to get rolling this morning. We are, uh, we're going to get rolling. One, two, three drops. And then uh, this morning I booked two vehicles already to uh, get back to Southern California. thousand six hundred and thirty one loaded miles uh, we're at our last last drop right now uh, for four thousand two hundred and fifty dollars uh, but I did bobtail excuse me I did deadhead uh, oh well wow. how funny it's exact it was exactly 200 miles I did deadhead 200 miles from where Joe and the white truck at the uh, dealership James River Ford where where we all met up um, to the pickup to origin for uh, these pieces the machinery pieces the snowplow uh, pieces was 200 miles so I did deadhead 200 miles so still even at 1831 miles you guys I mean for four thousand two hundred and fifty dollars uh, pretty good money pretty good money right now it's the 20th you know five days before Christmas so pretty good money All right. 
loading up one more for our return trip home. We're done. We're loaded. Acura R RTS or RXD or I don't know what the heck. Uh, picked it up from a private residence in Sparks. So it was like four miles from our last drop. And then, oh, sorry. And then that's a $500 bill. And then this one is 700, no, sorry. Yeah, $749 a buck 78 a mile because it was uh, 65 miles south of Sparks or Reno going in the right direction so paying very nicely but because it, it was off the beaten path uh, picking it up from a dealership it's a wholesale so we're taking it to another dealership and then this is going to uh, I believe a pri pri private residence to a, a drop yard and then they're gonna put it on I guess a train or I'm not sure for the customer who's moving to North Carolina. So a uh, $1,249 bill on about 500 miles. Nice, easy, light. We're done, we're loaded. It is like noon, which is wonderful. It's like noon, which is great. We're done, we're loaded. We got unloaded and reloaded between eight and noon. So really good news. Uh, time to get home before Christmas. It's just been, oh look, I got dirt on my face. It's just been, it's just been crazy, you guys. It's been crazy. You know, I've just had a lot of hits. And the hits keep coming. Oh my gosh. A lot of hits. A lot, a lot of hits. I just feel like I can't even breathe, you know. I'm tired. And I can't breathe. So I'm going to take some breaths. And, uh. Keep pushing forward, you guys. One one foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. Like I said, you know, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. Sometimes it's really, you know, times get tough. And the big, wide, you know, moving river gets really, really narrow and really, really rocky. And not a lot of water to swim through. So I'm having one of those narrow river moments these days. And... Um, I'm just looking forward to getting through it. You guys have a Merry Christmas. I will see you after Christmas. Take care.